Hi guys, real quick before we get started today, I'm going to petition you a bit. This is not an ad, please hear me out. I've been running CollectorCarFeed.com and this channel for a couple years now, and I just don't know how to further its growth. I really believe we provide a useful service and viable alternative to the nightmare that is hunting for cars on Facebook Marketplace, and in fact, I can point to at least a dozen people who have used this site to buy a car, including myself, but I don't know how to find an audience. Don't get me wrong, I'm thrilled you're watching this, but I want to see continued growth so that when I throw hours of my week at this thing, I don't feel like it's a Sisyphean task. I've pretty much tapped out Reddit at this point, so what's next? If you have any ideas or suggestions, real or sarcastic, Nick, please leave them in the comments or hit me up on Discord. I'd like to continue improving this thing and keep it running for years to come, but I'm absolutely not a marketing strategist. Also, we haven't seen Netgear on the channel in a minute, so next week you're going to get a Project Baja Turbo update. Whether he sells it at auction or keeps it forever, I hope you'll enjoy watching the restoration process. Anyway, thanks for watching, thanks for telling your car enthusiast friends about us, thanks for liking and subscribing, and sorry for the interruption. It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. Oh, that shit in my eyes. 2001 F-150 Lightning sold for $20,000. Live out your uh, Fast and Furious truck cosplay dreams. Please. Yeah. Shit is sick. I would love to slam this into a curb while I'm slinging parts for Harry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put it out there that I like because we did the the Harley Davidson one forever ago. I definitely like the front bumper and the Harley Davidson more. This has like a Jay Leno chin vibe going to me, but I have long said that the only jelly bean that was ever cool was the um, lightning ones. Yeah, and I, I don't disagree. Is it the so same bumper? Kind of the same. Nah, it's a little different. It's got a smaller mouth. Meh. I feel like that's just, it's, uh, either that or maybe it's, that one's not fitted right. This one's, well, yeah, this one's definitely not fitted right. There's that oh, yeah, massive look at that gap. gap. Yeah. Stick your whole hand in there. But also, it is a lot swoopier. Like, it's, it's got, like, those scallops around the, um, the driving lights. Like, it just, it looks more 90s -y in its approach. It looks like something that would be on a flare side F-150. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, no, I do like these a lot. I they, they didn't do anything wrong. And they were supercharged, right? Like, yeah. I, even though it was a mod motor, uh, you still could throw a supercharger on there and make 350 horsepower, which... This one has a carpeted bed? Sick. Which, in 2001, was a lot of horsepower. Let's not forget. Yeah, sorry if you're talking over you. Was it like 320 or something? So, it's got to be something like that. But again, 2001... Remember what big horsepower was in 2001? Like yeah. 500 was a huge number in 2001. Are these reproduction wheels? Jesus, Brock says they make 390 stock. Yes, those are FR500s. Dude, yeah. Like they they are the right style, but yeah, you can tell yeah, by the they're... center cap being a lightning bolt that something's up here. Yeah. yeah. Um. The the wheel is called the rep wheel is called FR500. Okay. So this one deserved to be the low dollar example. It is at 20 grand. Oh. Yeah, look at that paint. Yeah, it's a little rough. Look at all that orange peel. Shitty oh, Ford paint. Yeah, it's a Ford. Uh, lots of up-close stuff here. Yeah, I mean, he's got the right pictures for it. Yeah. Lightnings were, lightnings were 380 horsepower, 450 foot-pounds. Like, that's not a slouch. No. That truck burns at, That truck doesn't burn out at every red light. It is such a shame. Did they not make these in a six-speed? I don't think so. Did they, did they only come in autos? Yeah. Sad. Do not legitimately know, but they should have put a like fucking six-speed column shifter in this. How sick would that be? <laughs> Good track day with your column shifter. I wish that the Viper truck wasn't so much more appealing than these. Yeah, that's the problem, right? When you look at its com competition, which yeah. was the SRT10. Look like, at all that rust on the brake pedal. Holy yeah, shit! It's kind of weird. Yeah, it's surface Just rust. Dunk that one pedal into the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> Pour one out for all the S30s. But when you look at it, compared to the SRT10, like, you kind of know what you're going to have now, right? Like, during the time, it was like, oh, yeah, this wouldn't be too bad. But, like, looking back, you'd have the SRT10. Yeah. Go back on. What were the, what were the modifications? Read the list. 
All right, No Cats, uh, an engine tuned by JJ at Woodbine Motorsports, supercharger yeah, ported yeah. and powder coated by Joker's Performance, Punisher Valve Body, long tube headers paired with the uh, with a Bassani muffler and exhaust tips, a single blade throttle body, plugged turkey pan and catch can, cold air intake, aftermarket intercooler and intercooler tank, ceramic coated exterior paint, which really shows, the 12 Fast 4U <laughs> custom seats and center console, AF gauge with column mount, and Pioneer stereo system with backup camera. 12 Fast 4U. Yeah, what the fuck is that? Yeah, you better Google that, come on, let's go. They only exist on oh. Facebook, you're right, and all they do is SVTs, all right? I mean, the seats do look nice. Yeah, it just looks like a mom and pop upholstery shop, man. So they're like rewrapped in fake carbon fiber and fake suede, and they add like extra lightning logos. This looks like ass. Looks like a waste of money. It's, it's what do the original it's, seats look like? It's period correct. All right, come on. <laughs> period correct with today's dollars. Yeah, it's kind of weird to pay for period correct currently. Like if that was made in 2004, sure. But this is this is factory here it just looks like basically a an f-150 but you know with some inserts yeah like a little bit better bolstering the, yeah not hold you in for all of the uh actually this looks stock here is this a before picture no i think that's the seat or no no nah, it's gotta be a before no because i think it's this before is the because after. that's the after Ugh. so it's not like heinous but it's not great <laughs> So he's putting in some sort of like custom center console and their bucket seats. It's not a bench. Uh, honestly, the center console looks like the one that came in the Explorers. It probably is. <laughs> yeah, like it very well could be. Well, that's great. Um, so it's Dick. got that. It has stone chips, a scuff, it, some scrapes, and some and rust. It, and it sold for 20 grand. Yeah, on cars and bids, no less. I think that's about what they're worth. Yeah, I was going to say, that's. I wish it had original wheels. Yeah. I'm not a super, like, the back wheel just looks too small for this. He didn't say in the modifications that these were aftermarket wheels, though. I don't think. I think the original ones were painted. I don't think you could get polished original ones. Yeah, they don't look original at all. I wonder if he got called out or if we're just retarded and th this is the correct wheels. I mean, I it's think we're retarded, but I don't know if it's one Google wheel. Win. No, if we, go, so if we have a Google, they, we lose all the content. I think that they're repros. They are. Oh, I yeah, think you'll add it in post. No, they you were 100% will add it in post, and someone will be wrong, and someone will be right. Here's an SC400. The 1UZ FE FV8. Let me try that again. The 1UZ FE V8. Tiny belt <laughs> replaced, mostly unmodified, California owned. SC400, you're sick. Yeah. I, I daily want it. Oh, yeah. If, if it was a stick, it'd be exciting, but... Yeah, these didn't These didn't come in stick. Uh, the SC300 did, but... What are you gonna yeah, do? I mean, you could yeah. trans trans swap, but still. What are you gonna do? You're gonna slam this out, VIP it. Yeah, slam it on its nuts. Mm -hmm. Looks fine. 130,000 miles on it. Sold for $9,800. This all seems fine. This all seems above board to me. Pretty straightforward. Wow, yeah. that seat's got a lot of farts in it. That, yeah, we're we're nearing fart limit. Yeah, it's got about 130,000 miles worth of farts for sure. <laughs> no doubt, no doubt there. Back seats, however. Don't. No parts. The back seats no. look like somebody has been dumping sodas back there. A little bit. Or jizz. Yeah. Oh, this is yeah, really clean. Gummies, yeah. Wow. Nice smear. They really paid somebody to clean this, huh? They really smeared this car with armor all for 20 years. Look, this oh, person yeah. knows what Doug and Bids is. You don't do anything. You just take the pictures. <laughs> you put it up. Yeah. You, a, a dealer is going to buy it anyway. Who gives a uh, shit? Like a... Like a meth dealer like or? a buy here pay here, pay here yeah <laughs> yeah you can own this for only 350 dollars a week for 3600 weeks <laughs> with the way they've been going lately i wouldn't be surprised if the majority of their customers are just car dealerships you know that company that's buying up all the houses um black black uh whoa 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 black rock black rock right okay i was gonna be like hold on there yeah, no, but I'm wondering, but like, is there a similar happen. company that's buying up all of the late model cars? Yeah, oh, Carvana. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, I guess it does exist. Right. Well, never mind. Get that venture capital, baby. Yeah. What you need to do is sell CCF to Carvana, dude. Imagine that shit. I'd love that. Get that Carvana bucks. In Carvana bucks and retire to a strip mall in Florida. But then what would we do with our, with our Monday <laughs> nights when feeds on a 
fucking island somewhere. It's not like we get like, paid. Literally no. anything else, it's gonna be great. <laughs> This. I had no idea this existed until like, I don't know, Tuesday? I didn't either, and I was really confident that it was worth a lot more on <laughs> first sight. Yeah, I know, right? Like, this thing looks like it's gonna Wait, be Wait, really? It only sold for a 6700 This was a huge upset, and Price is wrong. I, yeah. Yeah, like, I mean, it's so... Fresh this off is, this is one I could've won with a $2 bid. Damn. Yeah. yeah. Did but, anybody bid low enough for this thing? I don't think no, so. No, I don't think so. Like, is, it, mm, it's fresh this, off the boat. Like, I don't even think this guy, this guy probably barely made money. If he made money. It's like the fucking AutoZam crowd, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. that's... that's shit, the, shit yeah, yeah they're all they're all K-cars. Um, 660cc turbo engine, making like 70 horsepower. Problem was putting it on Doug and Bids. Let's yes. Real. Yeah, but like, that, trying to get then... this thing through port right now? Oh my god, you probably spend an arm and a leg. All right, I think there's a, a couple things why this didn't take off. One, no one's ever friggin' heard of this thing except for a few people. But it yeah. looks like something you would have heard of. Yeah, and then the thing, it's it's goes with the rest of the JDM stuff. It's like, you know, does it do anything that you couldn't do in America? I mean, this is a fucking Geo Metro that looks really silly. That's true. And it, good, luck, good luck finding parts on this bitch. Well, Link. This seems like one of those cars you have kicking around at the import shop. Like you go and check out like what's fresh off the boat and this thing's just sitting out front and you're like, oh yeah, that's not too bad. Maybe I'll scoop that when I can't get my GTR or whatever. Yeah, there's literally tens of import shops in America. Yeah, True. no, I mean, it's just, just, it's an unknown. If somebody wanted one of these for whatever reason, like it's a great buy, but it's just, it it's goofy, sick. it's weird. But like I said, like you're never going to find parts for this. Look at and that, though. Got all and the weird. Japanese parts. Yeah, look look that, that, steel. that is pretty wild. I guess the passenger seat's the original one. Yeah. Yeah. That Recaro. Yeah, I would guess the driver's side was just a mirror of that. Yeah, that Recaro was uh, it's, uh, past its fart limit. That's um, a huge fart. Yeah. Been dragging its nuts on it, man. Look at that. That's not even a fart limit. That's a giant balls you need to drive this thing. No, the limit. SFI certification on that seat has been taken out because <laughs> it's way over its fart limit Gosh. jesus blown in half Ooh, right past it dash looks cool though go back to like the 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 Let's... whole centered console picture what if i, what if I just keep going forward here, here you go that's cool it, it needs more like dials it. <laughs> could always use more what is that one on the right top right the aftermarket one giant tachometer boost gauge no it's not boost gauge there's okay so uh, from right to left it goes tachometer boost gauge tachometer speedometer <laughs> yep two tacks because why not also the factory tachometer goes higher than the aftermarket one yes right <laughs> all right whatever all right, thick. yeah Oh, that was installed here. I don't know how it fresh off like... the boat this is. That's a Mac Tools tachometer. <laughs> is this fake? This is weird. Is this not recently imported? Wait, maybe some sort of like a Marabou over in Japan put this on Could there be. over there and shipped it over here. This is what they want, right? Let's put this on. <laughs> Got fucking bald eagles and shit. Let's go. Yeah. Bald eagles and hamburgers. I don't hate that Momo steering wheel just in general. I like that style. I like three style. spokes. Race. Yeah. Race. Right. Let's you know what it's about. I like the aftermarket switch with the switch cover right there next to the uh, window. Adjustment. Those are the best ones that adjusted. AutoZone ever sold. The like yes. uh, the missile launching ones. Yes. What is this one even on? Like That's on the pussy magnet. Hog lights or something? <laughs> it's a pussy magnet. It's probably on the pussy magnet. Yep. Yeah. I mean, look at that. Look at that driver's seat. It's definitely on the pussy magnet. Yeah, because, yeah, he's dragging his giant balls on that thing, and you just gotta have the pussy magnet fired up. Look at all that animal hair. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's like I said, pussy magnet. It's not specific. Those are just pubes. <laughs> Japanese women have hairy <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to hear that. 1985 300 ZX 2 plus 2. Z31. These weren't cool. I'm no. just gonna say it. No, this is not cool. This is. I don't no. think the two plus twos don't look that bad. This is. 
it's they've grown horrible. on me. I will admit, like they've gotten. Like, what's better. bad about this side profile? This looks fine. It's not the two seater. Like it's so? not. It's not the two seater, so it's not good. It's just it's just bad. Yeah, cancer will grow on you too, but that doesn't make it good. <laughs> That's true. Mm, I wouldn't put this in cancer territory. Like I'd drive this. This is at least hurt. You know what? I'm the target audience. It's it's an NA also. It's not a turbo. It's just, like there's not, not much to like here. Fast. Yeah. Well, like, I was just talking about the style. The two plus two. Nobody seems to like. I think it's fine. I, I don't. I don't hate it nearly as much as I used to. Especially the S30 two plus twos have really grown on me a lot. I, I don't want one, but yeah, it's not that bad. Maybe it's because there's been so many four seater sporty cars in the last like 15 years, like the Panamera and stuff like that. Yeah, look at under the look at under that trim right there. Well, go back like two pictures. Look at under the yeah. Look at the oh, bottom yeah. of the fender under that trim. Ugh. That car's on its way out. Yeah, that was not looking good. Looked like there was uh, some rust crawling out from underneath there. Got the T tops. That's how you know it was an '80s car. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Safety? Don't need it. Bucks Ejecto safety. seat, cuz. That's way too glossy on the back there to be a um, yeah. the original. Sums yep. up. Suspect. Well, like, look at how go. Like, look at it compared to the like spoiler on the back. Like, it's two different blacks. And maybe it's just the sun. It just li well, like, compared to the rest of the trim on the car, though, two different blacks. Yeah, like this is this is matte. Yes, that's original. Yeah, this is just fucked. Somebody yeah. in Japan loved this car, mm, but nobody here. Automatic two plus two naturally wow. aspirated Z thirty one. Hey, this what just... a Six grand, perfect what price. A, yeah, what a swing and a miss. Yeah. 137,000 <laughs> miles shown, true mileage unknown. So, perfectly fine at this price. That's oh, fine. Yeah. yeah, like, somebody got this for six grand, and they were like, I'm going to drive this to Cars and Coffee once. Yeah. And then it will never run again. <laughs> it's got the voice thing. It's got the uh, the voice modulator, it's very, though. a very 80s dashboard. Uh, you got to okay. really like voice modulation, to drive is there this. like no way to turn that off no I'm, I'm just saying like if, if you're buying like this car like as a gimmick to be like haha my car talks to me or whatever like there's a whole lot more to take in there with this car than just the fucking the box that says you know your doors open or whatever like yeah. it's a it's a two it's i don't know what i'm trying to say i don't like this car and also you look at the way the stereo is, yeah you could have bought dickies let's move on yeah you're right yeah yeah mm -hmm. all right dicky <laughs> what the fuck yeah, yeah. is this? Look at this. That's fucking, fucking awesome is what that is. I'm Look fucking for it. Hell yeah. So this is some is sort this, of tribute, right? This is a Cayenne Trans. on all terrain? It's a Cayenne S Trans-Siberia. That's no official trim I know of. Same here. Porsche Cayenne, Cayenne S 2006. V8 power, all-wheel drive, suspension lift, southern owned. The first gen Cayenne is a fantastic SUV with a potent range of engines, luxurious interiors, and surprising off road capabilities. Trans Siberia Rally inspired tribute. Two and a half there inch suspension lift with all terrain tires. Baller. I would fuck with this for 10 grand. Why not? Because you'll go 50 miles, it'll explode, and then you'll just have a giant doorstop that costs 10 grand. Yeah, but at least it's a cool looking doorstop, unlike that two plus two garbage. Like these, uh. the the Cayennes are relatively fast for SUVs. You probably don't want to lift it this much and go that fast. It like this would be cool to like put the front tire up on a rock and park it in a in your front yard. Just be like, it's yeah, just, I go off roading. Like I drive it. <laughs> yeah, like I go off roading in my Porsche. This particular model of Porsche is not a mark of class. Oh god, yeah. these are these are <laughs> no, not new. No. Legit. Yeah. This is probably still, the cheapest just, Porsche you can buy right now. Yeah. It looks sick yeah. with the altar hangs though. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in a battle wagon sort of way, yeah. Why not? Yeah, like all this thing is missing is a roof rack and a spare tire in there. Like... Sure. But the thing is, you know that when you turn this car on, there are five check engine lights coming on. <laughs> yeah. yeah <laughs> check everything light is on, and that's how you roll. The dashboard looks like a Christmas tree for sure, but... Yeah, no, I mean, these things fuck for what they are. Um, they are silly. They do surprisingly well off-road. I mean, it's an over-engineered, German-designed SUV, so you know it's going to slap at everything it does, and it's also going to break and be incredibly expensive. Yeah. 
I'm mostly focused on that last part. That this is gonna break, and then yeah, you're gonna oh, have to yeah. pay more than what you spent on the car to get it Ryan again. Buy a Boxster S, dude. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, fuck. I wouldn't buy one of these things, but <laughs> yeah, I would love to just fling one around for a day. Sure, I can agree with that. I mean, that, that's true. Everything, like especially like this Minica Dangan ZZ, I would love to fling around for a day. Yeah, yeah like I would love to see somebody else break that Porsche. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or hand them the keys back after you do. Like, yo, your Turo rental is fucked. I don't know why. Bye. <laughs> 1992 Mitsubishi Strata L200 4x4, which is apparently a turbo diesel. That's, that's something. Never seen one of these in my life. Neither have I. Doug seems really excited. He put two exclamation marks. Ah, uh, let me read Doug's stupid fucking take on it. Wow! Long wow. Jesus. wow! Here's something wait you me, don't see in the U.S. every day: a Japanese spec four-door truck with a turbo diesel engine and four-wheel drive. The L200 oh, touts it. rugged looks, a five-speed manual transmission with a two-speed transfer case for off-road prowess, and a recent timing belt replacement for peace of mind. So it ticks a lot of good boxes. It's not perfect, but it's a real oddball, and the seller provided a very thorough gallery that shows it inside and out. It's also located and registered in California, so the time-consuming process of sourcing a truck from Japan and importing it here has already been done. It's also offered with the excitement of no reserve, which should make for a fun auction close. Yep. It's sold for $7,300. you imagine, though, like somebody super excited to drive this truck Ooh, and the, take yeah. care of it, but like, some Japanese dude probably hauled fish in that thing for 20 years before over look here. Look at that transfer case knob, shifter, whatever. The fuck? Oh, it's a bullet? Is it supposed to be a bullet? Yeah, it's a giant bullet. Yeah, it's a giant bullet. Sick. They don't have bullets in Japan. No, no. It should be a giant airsoft BB. <laughs> That's what the one on the right is. Yeah, I'm with I'm with, uh, with Country Boy. This thing is fucking dope. I would rock this. Yeah, yeah. same. I don't hate it. Let's see some yeah. more picks. I mean, with a turbo diesel, you can't go wrong. You could go yeah. zero to sixty in twenty seconds, I bet. Fuck yeah! <laughs> He's missing well, under, underwater fires. too. Make a fuck ton of noise doing it. Yeah, like I said, like some dude's gonna be like, "Oh, this is so sick," but then like, it's like proportions some guy are in Japan that has a fleet of these things that just beats the shit out of them. It was like, yeah, we took the best looking one and sent it to America. We made a shitload on it. It was great. This, yeah, I wonder what this would actually go for at auctions but it's it's unique it's cool it's weird i love it i know exactly what this interior is going to look like without even seeing it it's just you know exactly how much damage can smoke in a cigarette like that yeah, manual lock say. oh the fart limiters Exploded. jdm farts <laughs> jdm farts are premium i can, I can oh, smell man, on the truck. back too shoulder farts too yeah <laughs> you blew this seat out that's rough. That's, <laughs> just that's, collapsed. That doesn't even look remotely comfortable. <laughs> this looks a lot cleaner than I was imagining, though, I will say. Back seats never sat in. No. Just need to swap the fronts for the rears. Perfect. Lemonade oil. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Put it in this truck. I it had a Pexy gauge on it. What? Yeah. yeah. What was in that missing spot? Well, it's, it's turbo diesel, right? And the holes yeah. here? Probably like a phone mount or like a CB ashtray. mount or something. Well, maybe yeah. one of those things they put like third or fourth old... ashtray. Yeah. <laughs> Look, those, like little compass things that showed the car and how close you were to tilting over. Like a, like old Forerunners. Yeah, Land Cruisers. That looks like a mattress under there. It's, like a fucking that's, box that's spring like mattress. Man. <laughs> yeah. It's rusty on the top too. That's suspect. It is a little bit suspect. Got dipped in the ocean before it came here. Come on. It looks Ooh. fine. It just. Yeah. It just looks haggard and old. Yeah, like like I can smell this truck by looking at it. Like yeah, I just it smells like I oil know exactly parts. what it smells like. It smells it's like what? a turbo diesel truck parked outside of a bowling alley from the seventies. Yes. <laughs> what's, the, what's the congratulatory message to the winner? From Doug. From Doug. Good job Based. taking cancer. From quote unquote Doug. There isn't one. Oh, they stopped doing. They that? didn't even say good job. Because he typed out all that shit and it only sold for seven grand. <laughs> Doug was mad. Thanks, I've been trying to contact the winning bidder, but no luck so far four days ago. <laughs> yeah, Cars and Bids is a really great auction site. 
I think I've seen Doug like comment on Facebook that they don't like to run cars that they think are gonna sell for less than ten grand because people just flake the fuck out more often on those. Huh. That's not also, surprising. Doug I likes guess. his money. Yeah. Also, it makes you look like an asshole when you're running a premium car auction site and you can't get any money for a car. There's nothing premium about this site. Yeah, I was gonna say premium kind of went out the window here. Car. Yeah. How about uh, AW11? Oh, yeah. 16 grand? What? Was this one owned by a little old lady? 107,000 miles. Is it a uh, supercharged? No? It does not appear to be so. And five speed manual? Oh, it is. It is. Oh, it yeah. is. It, it's a supercharged okay. and they did right. not. Min uh, the, hold, on, hold on. We're all retarded. It's right there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's Check it out. We're fifth word in the title. You've got it highlighted. Yep. Jesus. It's the fourth word in the title. <laughs> all right. Well, I can't read. But Same. sixteen okay, grand. Still, sixteen grand is that what these go for? Yeah. For the that's, supercharged version. That seems about right. Yeah, they're they're really rare. Stick. And this one doesn't look terrible. Not rusted to hell. That does not like, seem unreasonable. Yeah, like the side profile of this thing is like eighties. Fuck yeah. It's it's as eighties like, as it could possibly. Oh yeah. Yeah. Doing more eighties would be like a DeLorean yeah. pulling up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Either a DeLorean or um like the Subaru XT. Like those are the only two I can think of that are more eighties than an AW11. And the cool no, Dodge. Yeah. Right. Yeah. True. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's got Sirius XM updated. Yeah. Yikes. Does it come with a subscription? Hey, it's not rusted to shit. No. Yeah. yeah. Goodbye. Send it. Yeah, that's good. Sixteen grand seems reasonable for this. Oh, there's the rust. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's a little yeah, bit of flaky and surface it's rust. It's gotta have else. some. It's yeah, a driver it's car. Yeah. It's a driver car. It's no, fine. for sixteen, yeah, I don't think you'd lose money on this one ever if you keep it in that condition. This yeah. would turn heads, for sure. Yeah, no, that's cool. I like the color too. Yikes! What? The <laughs> what? <laughs> so these exist. Um... <laughs> This one sold for seventy two hundred bucks. It's a nineteen ninety six Daihatsu Midget two. Uh, it's a K truck that seater? looks like this. Single seater. <laughs> no I, I think that two people fit in there. No. <laughs> Maybe not. No. No. Is this what the Oompa Loompas drove? What? what do you even haul with this thing? Like one box, like a your small own baby ass. ass. That's <laughs> it. Yeah, you couldn't even fit your casket in there when you get crushed by somebody's tundra. What the fuck? <laughs> What is this for? <laughs> this is, you know what this is? It's a fucking forklift. I was just about to say, is it a forklift? <laughs> this is a warehouse appliance. What in the fuck, man? <laughs> yeah, what do you what do you put in the back? That's where you hog your bitch. <laughs> like your dog, because no one else would be seen near this thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's got like the the backwards vinyl on the other side, <laughs> like it's a drift car from oh, two thousand. <clears throat> bad Photoshop water watermark. Oh god. Because he says these were used in mobile billboards. I could see that. Is that it? Like this was just like what, what like else? the the tan companies of Japan drove around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can do anything with this. You could strap your tools down in the back, and that would be about it. You could sell it 30 years later like that, to an American uh, for $7,200. You couldn't God. even you, you couldn't even fight it, fit a bike back there. Let's watch a little bit of on uh, an auto transporter. It's gonna fall in the gap in the middle. <laughs> I want to see this thing just move. Yeah. What do blind people eat? Probably with their hands. <laughs> Feeds very interesting YouTube search history. Hit the skip button. Please. There's nothing interesting here at all. <laughs> Double checking just to be sure. <laughs> oh Spidey car mods subbed in what? Russian? Well, Russian. Have, we have Russian closed captions on. It, it was auto. Right. I don't know. <laughs> I hate Sir, this Soviet style of video. Yeah. There you go. And Honestly, that was fun. it. <laughs> it actually looks like fun, like on a go kart track. Just buy a goddamn right, like, go kart. Is there even attack on this thing? There's nothing on this There's thing. There's no speedometer either. You just kind of nah, That's the speedometer to like the left of the on the left side okay. under the, the stereo, yeah. I think. There's no attack though, so I guess you just yeah go, go by feel. Go by when sound. it starts to move, it's time to shift. 
Yeah. Well, Dude, that's yeah, the entire like, drive video. Like, Brock, how many years do you think that thing could potentially have? Rock I mean, posted a van version of this. It doesn't make it any better. It actually looks worse. It looks like an escargot that's got a like. nose cancer. The weirdest thing we have ever imported to date. The, the um, audio I'm riding nope. around in a, in a night. We'll have to watch this later. It's calm. In uh, Decatur. He's God, this looks so three, deadly. Three. Uh, it probably just sounds like a lawnmower. Dude's yeah. driving it around fucking Atlanta. Fuck That's yeah, crazy. Dude. That's sick. You, um. <laughs> they race these? Yeah, but you know this brake Zuko's number one rule, right? Like, you would absolutely oh, yeah. die driving one of these. For sure. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, but that's not everybody's rule. Some of us are allowed to enjoy. I, I don't want yeah. this thing though. This is a fucking stupid car. Oh God, no. <laughs> really? Some, somebody <laughs> thought it was worth seven thousand dollars. That's the yeah. that's the truck you have at the track that you like pile all your tires in the back to go get them swapped. So I mean, it's that or a Celica GTS. We all know what all the day is. Celica GTS. We all know what the yeah. answer is. And yeah, how many Celicas is this? That's one. like it's one, one Celica one. GTS. One yeah. Celica, one Celica. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that is I'd not a that. good exchange. No, Regal T-Type, fake Grand National, fake Grand National, twenty-five grand. That's not intercooled. I don't know shit about these things. It was turbocharged, but it probably wasn't intercooled. Um, this looks pretty cool in white. I would have not expected it in white. But it's like the same three point eight V six, right? The same three point eight V six with a turbo. Um, but yeah, like you could get them in white and I'm trying to remember, I don't really, there wasn't a whole lot else cool about it. Like T-Type was just the package. Like they're kind of rare because everybody was just like, oh yeah, Grand National, blah, 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 blah. But like, same. So it's like the V6 S550 Mustang. Like, yeah, kind of. It, it exists, but who cares? Right. Yeah, I don't get the appeal could, on these. You but... afford a Grand National, so like. Mm. Oh, that's, it's a G-Body and it's yeah, fast but like it's, it's a. But it's a Buick, right? Like the the trashy one would have been a Monte Carlo. Like you were a person of culture if you had the Buick T-type. <laughs> Is the Monte Carlo SS just like a 305? Yeah, I think so. Well, that's shit. But yeah, I mean, okay, 25 grand. So these are everything's going up. Is what I'm taking out of yeah, this. Yeah, 25 grand. <laughs> that's steep. Yes, a T-type is essentially a sleeper Grand National. It's yeah. Not. Does that offend you? A little bit. So the slower version of the Grand National is the sleeper? Why does yeah, it start with yes? It's fucking sleepy. It's not as exciting. It's a, sl it's a sleepy Grand National. Uh, sleepy like, yeah, Grand yeah. National. Like, yeah, it's a turbocharged V6. Like, it's the same motor, and it's just missing a few things to make it a Grand National. But those few things are important. All right. I want to see some interior picks. Let's go. We saw it. Yeah. It's long burgundy. Yeah. Oh. It's brown. This is boring. <laughs> Welcome you to the Grand National it. scene. Yeah, it's... the number fifty-five is highlighted because it was the yeah. national speed limit at one point. Yeah. <laughs> Did anybody actually follow that? No. In fact, they wrote an entire song about how they can't. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Hit like and subscribe if you haven't. It would mean the world to me. Collector Carfee, now with over four hundred sixty-nine subscribers.